Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you about one of the most secret Avatar World characters that you probably don't know anything about. This character can be found in the regular version of the game, but he has one difference from all the other characters. Few people manage to find this character right away, since the chance that he will appear the first time is 1%. However, I managed to do it and today I will show you this character. She is located in a new location, in a bakery. This is Grandma Amelia. It could be found only in one place, in a corner of the old district of the city, where there was a small bakery. In her youth, Amelia worked as a geologist and traveled around the world studying mountain systems and natural resources. Her travels were full of dangers and adventures, and she learned a lot about the secrets of the earth. But why did Amelia like to be in the bakery and not to relax in nature? Because in her youth, she was a geologist and not a baker. In fact, on one of her travels, Amelia accidentally wandered into a children's camp. Due to the fact that she hadn't eaten for so long, Amelia was ready to eat anything. At the children's camp, she found a building that had a kitchen. There was a huge pile of food. Amelia, without hesitation, began to eat everything that was on the table. Perhaps you may ask how this journey is connected with the bakery. In fact, everything is very simple. Look at what was on the table. These are sandwiches that are made of bread, that is, pastries. Because of her love of sandwiches and bread, Amelia decided to become a baker. Now you know that her career as a baker began with this interesting story. From that moment on, Amelia devoted her life to creating unique desserts and pastries, and she really enjoyed cooking pies, cakes, and other delicious pastries. Over time, she became a chef, and her bakery became very popular in the city of Avatar World, just like Amelia herself. But when Amelia got older, she realized that she could no longer bake pies the way it used to be. Amelia is already 73 years old, and it's time for her to retire. But she didn't want to part with the bakery so much that she tried to work there as long as possible and bake pies. But still, it was already hard for Amelia to cook so many pies, and she decided to retire. She left the bakery to her best chefs, and now she often goes to the bakery to eat the most delicious pastries in Avatar World and feel the passion for cooking pies, because she loves them very much. Because of this passion and dedication to the art of the bakery, Amelia spent most of her time exclusively there. So now I'm going to tell you about another character. At first glance, he looks pretty simple, but in fact, no one knows about his secret hobby. However, I'll tell you about it now. This character's name is Jim. He's about 30 years old and he constantly looks tired. You can find it on the outskirts of the city in a small house. Jim sleeps on the bed all the time. And do you know why? And all because of his hobby. Jim is interested in astronomy. He is looking for constellations and new planets in the sky. At night, he goes out into the yard and looks at the sky, but not just like that. He has a small telescope that can zoom in as much as 100 times. Thanks to this telescope, Jim can clearly see the constellations and planets. By the way, Jim has an unusual nightlight. It is needed in order to project constellations. Thanks to him, Jim finds constellations much faster because the nightlight shows what he needs to look for. And due to the fact that Jim spends all night under the night sky looking at the stars, he is constantly tired during the day and sleeps on the bed. Jim doesn't live in the house alone. His wife Isabella also lives here. Isabella, unlike Jim, works constantly during the day. She works as a designer, so she is constantly sitting at her laptop. You can find her at the kitchen table. Because of the large amount of work, Isabella does not have time to monitor the garden, so nothing grows in the yard on the flower bed, and the flowers in Jim's room wilted. Isabella does not like that Jim sleeps all day because of his hobby, but she also loves to watch the stars in the night sky, although she does not do it as often as Jim. Jim and Isabella have a daughter. Her name is Mia. She is 14 years old and she always sits in her room. Mia is a very creative girl. She makes music, creates scenes from paper characters, plays video games, and even rides a skateboard. Mia doesn't like going to school. She prefers to study at home more. Her favorite subject, oddly enough, is music. There is no equal in Mia's music, because right at her house there is everything you need to become the most professional musician. You have already seen the microphone, guitar, and speaker, which are lying near the closet. However, if you turn on the computer, you will see that a music program is running on it too. Mia dreams of becoming a rock musician when she grows up. She dreams of singing songs on the big stage at her concert, which will be attended by thousands of fans. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a girl from the mall. She's standing in a room with a bunch of different toys. There are plush toys, pinatas, helicopters, cars, blasters with bubbles, and much more. This girl with beautiful hair is called Elsa. Have you noticed what is behind Elsa? 
Yes, that's right, right behind her head is the sequence of keystrokes of this huge toy piano. If you press the keys as shown here, then the gates of this toy castle will open. Wow, there are so many toys here, there's even a train. Do you know why there is such an unusual lock installed here, which Elsa closes with her head? In fact, it's because Elsa hid all her toys here and is now hiding this place, because she doesn't want all the inhabitants of the Avatar world to play with them. In this castle, no one can take toys without Elsa's permission. By the way, when night falls and all visitors to the Avatar World shopping center go home, Elsa opens the lock and plays with toys. Here is a whole set of toys from a small kingdom. There are princesses, a carriage, a white horse, and a small castle. And instead of a dragon figurine, there is a whole train in the form of a dragon, on which Elsa loves to ride so much. Among all the toys that are in this mall, Elsa has two most favorite toys. This is a bubble blaster that appears if you take a ride on a train, and this is the princess in a green dress. So now I'm going to tell a story about a very important character in the Avatar world. Without him, there would be no food and products in the supermarket because there would be no one to unload them. This character's name is Jacob, and he unloads cars with food, which he then puts on shelves in the store. In addition, Jacob also loads these machines, which then deliver food to other supermarkets and to people who have ordered food delivery at home. Immediately after receiving the boxes of food, Jacob begins to put all this food on the shelves and departments of the supermarket. The main thing is not to mix up the food and put all the products in their places. Fruits, together with fruits. Pastries, together with pastries. Jacob is the only person in the supermarket who can properly put all the products in their places because he has worked here for more than 10 years and has already worked as a cashier, baker, butcher, and even a beekeeper. He can arrange all the food accurately in its place even with his eyes closed. However, no matter how he understood the supermarket, one day there was an incident because of which he was almost fired, all because of one small mistake that Jacob made because of his absent-mindedness. This incident happened 10 years ago when Jacob was 20 years old. Jacob was new to unloading food trucks because he had just got a job at a supermarket back then. He, as now, was instructed to unload and load the cars that deliver food. And so, Jacob, as if nothing had happened, loaded the car with food. The car had to go home to one of the customers to deliver eggs, flour, and sugar so that the customer baked a pie. But instead of three eggs, flour, and sugar, Jacob accidentally put there a box with nine pieces of different raw meat. Jacob's boss decided not to fire him because Jacob did it by accident because he had just started working in the supermarket. Jacob's boss, Jim, instructed Jacob to apologize to the buyer and send him some product completely free of charge. Jacob listened to Jim, and in order for the upset buyer to forgive him, Jacob sent the buyer one large box. In this box, instead of ingredients from which you can bake a pie, Jacob put a whole bunch of different pies as an apology. The customer got his food and forgave Jacob. Because of this story, Jacob could have lost his job, but thanks to the ingenuity of his boss and the kindness of the client, he stayed working in the supermarket and was not fired.